Hello and welcome to another playthrough. Um, this time I chose something extremely... Well, it looks really bland, to be honest. This is E.T. Uh, Interplanetary Mission. Now, this is a very, very old uh, PS1 game, uh, which I believe uh, it came out in 2002. Uh, so that's quite late in the uh, PlayStation 1's life cycle. And it was developed by a company called Digital Eclipse, which I believe I've heard of today. I might be wrong about that, but in Europe and in North America, it was de developed by Santa Cruz Games. Uh, yeah, once again, I'm using Wikipedia. And it was published by Ubisoft in Europe, and again, it was publish published by New Kid Co. in North America. It's essentially a puzzle game. Um, it hasn't got the greatest reviews, uh, to be honest. Um, game rankings gave it 51.5. Uh, Metacritic is at 50% with four reviews. Um, game Zone's actual score was 7.2 out of 10. IGN gave it 5.9 out of 10. And official PlayStation magazine in the US gave it 0 0.5 out of 5. So, clearly this is going to be an awesome game. Um, right, let's, um, let's get to it, I suppose. Right, so I have had a little playthrough, and basically you have to collect these things. Um, the controls are quite basic, to say the least. Hopefully my controller doesn't play up, because I've been having some issues with it of late. Right, there's that. That square does nothing. Triangle picks things up, and the circle does... Oh, it heals stuff. Oh, and then it collects it. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Um, and R2 lets you run like that for some reason. Basically, you just essentially have to collect these, which is... It, it, it comes across quite bland, I'm not going to lie. Um, but some of these old, these games are the kind of games that are released after the system's pretty much, you know, it's had its day. And that was, I'm presuming that was left level one. Okay. Uh, Totalgames.net said a lot better than anyone dared to imagine. Um, cut. Because E.T.'s got a lot of hate due to the, uh, people seem to hate on it due to the Atari game, which... Um, if you watch the documentary, I believe it's on Netflix, um, the guy that did the uh, E.T. game uh, only had something like six weeks to develop uh, for the Atari. So, I mean, what you know, what, what more can you expect in six weeks? So, And I haven't actually played the Atari game. Maybe it would be interesting one day to play it, just to see if it's as bad as everyone says it is, because I can't imagine it is. It's sort of... It's got kind of a, a history in video games has been one of the worst games ever made, which is probably a little bit on the unfair side, to say the least. But E.T., I mean, what's it to say about E.T.? Everyone knows E.T. It was a very popular and, and quite a good film. Um, okay. This is a... I'm not sure what to make of this. It's quite bizarre. No, no. Oh, well, that was... It's the fastest this character's moved in the whole game so far. Anyway, I got distracted there. Um, basically, don't expect a timeless and breathtaking as the movie, but you'll have a good time. Uh, PSNX Nation quoted a decent enough scavenger hunt to amuse youngsters. Um, I'd completely agree with that, uh, to be honest, because it's very repetitive and it's just gathering items. And official PlayStation magazine said it's dreadfully ugly and unredeemingly f unfun. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting that vibe. I mean, I've only been playing it for about, probably about four minutes. And hello, what the hell is that? You can run though, so that might that'll be helpful. What the hell is that? Yeah, I don't think I've watched E.T. the film in about. 
Oh, must be 20 years at least. I have just recently purchased uh, Jurassic Park 3D on Blu-ray. Um, oh, hello, right there. Uh, still a very, very good film. Um, if anyone hasn't seen Jurassic World yet, um, it's it's excellent. It's it's not as good as the original, but it is um, probably it's better than the, the two sequels that followed Jurassic Park, in my opinion, anyway. Um, so if you want to check it out, uh, it's out of the cinema now, so I would. It's it's excellent. Uh, where do I get that then? Do I have to pick it up? No? Okay. Okay. Nope. It's kind of that when, when consoles sort of have had their life cycle, they just become machines for the for kids basically. There's a lot of those kind of games on PS1 like uh Scooby Doo and the uh oh come on the the one with the the cyber ghost or whatever it was virus, I can't remember now. Um that I can't remember what it's called now. I'm so sure there's someone that knows. But it is it's that kind of machine. It it becomes a machine mainly just for kids. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, um, but the uh, PlayStation has had far better games on it in the past. Um, this is running on the PS3 because, uh, to be honest, I can't really be. It. It's a pain in the ass to actually get the PS1 out and set it all up sometimes. Also, uh, the controllers on them are a bit knackered, so I have to keep the wire a certain uh, on a certain angle, otherwise it just. Um, it just doesn't work properly, but you know, it. I don't know what's this. Oh wow! So that 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 threw me off. That the camera angle on this is quite strange to say the least. In fact, the camera angle. I know camera angle is horrible. I have no idea what the hell that was. Okay. Look at all the textures, the way it's popping and that. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have taken that. This is definitely a puzzler. It is quite ugly though. I gotta say that. I mean, 2002. What? I think PS2 was out. Was it too late? 2002. PS2 came out. It was about that. Okay, I have to run now. So this is very late in the PS1's life cycle, to say the least. But ah, um, I'm pretty sure ET. Oh look, it's giving me a speed boost. Never, ever run like this. This is actually quite difficult. And I'm losing life very fast. E.T. run. E.T. run, man, run! God, is this the best you can run? Come on, put your back into it a bit. Okay, I think I've gone the wrong way. Okay, he's, he's gone. What is that thing, a ball or something? I'm not even sure if this is the first level or not. I, I, I'm generally oh, generally sort of lost. Okay. Oh, oh that's kind of neat. Hang on a minute. He can't jump. Well, what 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 use is that? He can't jump, can he? I see. Well, I suppose well, it's well, not too bad. I suppose it could be challenging, definitely for smaller children and stuff. But like I said in previous videos, if you, you know, that Mickey Mouse game is is excellent for children. It's 
It's that kind of thing, really. They, I think kids, well, unless they're very young, I think they'll find this pretty tedious pretty quickly. Because I've got to say, I'm, this is pretty tedious. Out with the in, out with the old, and in with the new most of the time. The E3 press conferences have just pretty much have just finished, and there's some uh, interesting stuff. Gears of War Ultra, uh, Gears of War One uh, remaster is coming to ironically PC. Seems like Microsoft seems to be uh, swaying a bit um, and sort of giving a bit of love to the old PC all of a sudden. I suppose it makes sense with uh, Windows 10 and uh, DirectX 12 coming out um, in the next couple of months, I believe. Um, I mean, my opinions on the conferences were they weren't bad. They Probably the best conference in the last couple of years. Ironically, when the, the next gen systems, are, a lot of the biggest issues has been the fact they just don't have any games. Well, they just haven't. They're just taking so long to get the games out. But you got Gears of War Ultimate for PC. You've got Gears of War Four, which is coming out on uh, Xbox One, which I believe that may come to uh, PC eventually. And uh, no, we won't. We won't. Oh no, hang on. Was that the first level? Wow. I've been sort of looking back through my catalogue of, um, well, of, well, these aren't actually my games, they're actually my uh, younger sister's games, where they got one of those remodelled uh, PS1s, the uh, remodelled white ones, uh, which came out, again, late in the PlayStation 1's life cycle. But, you know, it's these kind of games that are quite interesting to play through, just to... Um, to see, I thought it would crash for a minute there. Uh, okay, so just to see what you know. Because by this point, I mean most most people have moved on to the next gen, next system. And as I've said in many other videos, nostalgia is a great thing. But sometimes nostalgia is a nostalgia. That's all it is. Um, and this is not really what I'd class as a classic. It's not. It's not a bad game. It really isn't. Um, I have to say the character models are pretty awful. Oh god, what, what is that? What, leave me alone. What is that thing? Looks like a... Okay, that's good. It, it doesn't leave you alone. It just keeps running at you. E.T. looks like he's slightly drunk. When he runs like that. I don't did E.T. ever run in the film? I don't think he ever did, did he? Oh. I think I think, you know, give given a bit of time, this this could be I suppose this could be fun for very young kids, I suppose. Oh. I have no idea what the hell these plant things I'm picking up actually are. Other than that they seem to... I don't know, he seems to heal them and then pick them up. But I am going to keep looking back um, through the old back catalogue. I have a, another couple of games. I don't know if anyone's familiar with um, Pokemon, which I'm sure you are. Most people are. Um, it had a, a basically a, a oh hang on I didn't know it could do that that's different it did, how come I can't go to different levels on the plane fuck her off uh, on the the field. I can't jump but the enemies apparently can come down on you that's that's good uh, a Digimon uh, Digimon World which is another one I found for PlayStation I have no idea if it's it, it what I believe Digimon is very similar to what's essentially a a, well, not a replica of Pokemon, but very, very similar from what I've uh, from what I remember. Um, but it was it had its fans, but it was never as popular as Pokemon. Uh, I mean, from what I remember, I, I'm, I was never really a, into Digimon, so I can't really speak for it. But I thought I might try that as a play for it. Seems to be these these older obscure games, or just obscure games in general, that seem to be people seem to find interesting to watch um, my uh, South Park video I, I I spoke to a couple of guys uh, on YouTube about it and how just how 
how bland a tie-in title it was, how, how bland it was as a game. Um, I wouldn't recommend, unless you really want to experience something very, very just bland and sort of quite awful. Uh, but they can be quite interesting games to play through. Bad games especially. I might need to pick that up in a minute. Uh, there is actually a Steam sale on at the moment. And there's some damn good stuff on there I picked up. Uh, I haven't played it, but I have been told it's extremely sh short. Bugger. Um... Uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, but from what I've been told, the game is about two and a half hours long from the reviews I've watched of people like Angry Joe. Um, so I'm glad I only paid £4.84 for it. So, And there's a lot of good stuff on there, actually. Uh, oh, what's that 2D? It's not Minecraft. It, it's got some similar things in my head. Is it Terra Terraria, is it called? That's uh, Last time I checked, that was £1.49. Uh, Okay, I can't go up there. So that that's pretty pretty interesting. Um I did pick up rail railway rail uh, roller coaster tycoon free. And uh, that was about three pounds. There's some good deals on Steam. It's it's hello, it's it's well worth checking out. Okay, I obviously need this for something. I'll be both Microsoft and Sony's press conferences. Uh, they went bad. They they were they were pretty good. But I haven't. Okay, where the hell did I put this? Then? Uh, they went bad. They were pretty. There was some interesting stuff there. Uh, much better than last year. And I think Microsoft are sort of, they are gunning for Sony, they, their whole conference was just games, 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 so I think they they know full well what they've got to do to um, basically win back a large uh, market share, I suppose. Gears of War 4 looked uh, well, like Gears, to be honest, there wasn't really that much difference in it, to be honest, but I'm sure, it, sure it'll be good. I have actually... I'm denied about playing through uh, Gears of War Judgment, which I've got for 360 at the moment, but I haven't haven't really had the heart to sort of turn it on and play through it yet because I know Gears games. I was never a massive fan of Gears, to be honest. I I played. I didn't really enjoy the first one. I just found the AI to be very very bad. To be honest, I thought the AI on the first Gears of War game was terrible. Um, but I played the second one, didn't really play through it, thought it was kind of cool, the weapons and that, but I found it again, very sort of next objective, hide behind something, something else attacks, you kill it, etc, or chainsaw it, or whatever, um, and it got very linear, but ironically I played the third one, and the third one, I don't know what it is, I just thoroughly enjoyed Gears of War 3, um, I, I was never really, oh damn it. I was never really that impressed, interested or impressed with the characters of the way they spoke. They were very sort of gruff and sort of, you know, it, that's how it came across to me. But I don't know what it was. Gears of War 3 was, um, I enjoyed it. Quite, it was it was great. I was I was even quite shocked when they killed off, um, oh, is it Marcus? I can't remember his name now. Um, so I may do that for the channel at some point, I think. Because yeah, I mean, I've never played Gears of War Judgment. From what I've read, it's a, I believe it's a prequel. This isn't actually that bad. Actually, once you get the eyes, it's becoming generally more challenging. Um, again, the graphics are, they're not great to be honest. But the, I tell you, the one thing I'm having issues with the, um, I'm playing with the directional pad. You can't use the analogs, so. Trying to shoot someone diagonally is actually quite tricky. And I keep getting... The, the camera's pretty awful, to say the least. You're getting stuck right now. I don't want to save the game. No, and... Oh, no. No, let's not save the game. It's 